Hello everybody, welcome back. Tinker77 here. We are back on full craft down in the area where I'm going to be doing storage from the mob farm. I'm going to be using a separate storage area so that I don't overflow our big chest with stuff that we really don't need. So my idea here is I want to put storage drawers along this wall and then have some sort of trash can when it overflows so we don't need extra items. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to try to get a the storage drawer set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the conduit around and over onto this walls where it's all the storage drawers are going to be. And the first thing you need is called a uh, controller. It looks like this. It's the drawer controller. And this allows it to figure out where to put the rest of the items. We will also need a key so we can lock the drawers so that they don't, uh, so we can keep things controlled and where we want them to go. So that's what we're going to do right away. We're going to start with a drawer controller and get that part hooked up and then we're going to continue on from that. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say the drawer controller. It looks like it needs stone and a drawer and a diamond and some comparators. I don't even think I have any comparators. Let's go see if we have a comparator. I have one. Okay, so we need another comparator. Let's get that. It should be easy. There we go. We have two comparators. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to make that controller, which looks like this one here. We need to have a drawer. Do I have one already? Yes, I do. And we have our controller. Excellent. And we have our item conduit. So let's go down there and see what we can do by hooking this up. Okay, so I, you want it to be kind of in the center of the area so that it can then control outward. So I'm going to put it right about, uh, let's put it, put it here. Okay. And there's the controller. It's sitting underneath it. The drawers will be on top of it. Now, let's run some conduit over to it. Let's see if we can do this correctly. So it goes here. Eventually, we'll take out that chest. So, uh, we have one there. And you can see it automatically hooked up. i got to double check the, uh, let's go check and make sure it's on insert. It's not. It should be going on insert. Okay. And so we should have it all hooked up. Okay, so now that's great. So now let's get out of here. So what I want to build is a bunch of these storage drawers. And it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four high. So 32 of the drawers. I'm having a little bit of lag issues on my server. I'm not sure what that's from. I'm thinking that it's from... Um, something to do with memory on the server itself, so I'm going to be looking into that shortly. So, anyway, drawers. I want to make a bunch of these uh, four-way drawers. There's some oak drawers. We need a bunch of chests. So that's what I really want to make. Let's see here. We want to make 32 of them, we said, right? Almost got them. Look at that. The other thing I want to make is a key. This just lets us lock the drawer. We're missing some gold uh, ingots, so we'll take a gold block here. Get rid of that. Hold on. And there we go. That's all I needed. And then we're going to go back to the uh, key. It's in the drawer set. It's this key right here, and we'll make it. There we go. Okay, so that's easy. Now, we're going to go down here. And we're going to start to put up the drawers. Now what will happen is is that um, the items will uh, not go into it quite yet because we have everything set up to not do that. But let's get these drawers hooked up first. Here it goes. I know it's kind of ugly, but it's a standard drawer. You can actually change the way these drawers look through some tools that allow you to change like what the size look and the front look. But I, I don't really care down here. Okay, so these are all the drawers that we have. Now, what we've got here is if I set this right here to extract, it should flow into the system right here. So let's see if I can do that. Can I get to it? No. Probably not. Okay, so we're going to have to get to a position where I can see it. Okay, I'm going to say this is extract always active. And if I did it right, there, see, the items are starting to flow into this drawer system. And they'll slowly fill up these spots. See, their bones are coming through. And so the controller is saying, I want them to go into this 
drawer bank and I'm telling it where to go. So slowly, items are being sucked out of here and into there. And that's what I want to see. Then I'll rearrange it to make it look the way I want so I can get, like for instance, bags in the same area and some of our other items. But this way, when items come through, they'll go right over to here and we will have it all set up. So let me give this some time to empty this out and see where we stand. The chest is gone. That's great. And the wall started to fill up with all the items that we have. Now, any items that I find that I fill up a full drawer, um, I might, and I did this with bones and gunpowder, I made one that allowed 32 stacks. We're going to get a lot of that stuff. Now, I had already emptied out arrows, and I know arrows will be very popular, so I'll probably have another one of these for, with arrows. Currently, we only have one uh, of the common loot bag. We don't have any other loot bags. So, if I turn this on, we should start to see more stuff start happening. So, here we go. We're going to turn the lights off. And there we have it. So stuff should be starting to flow in. Um, we'll have things come in here, uh, pop up into different areas. It'll just all of a sudden appear. Probably arrows will be one of the first things we see. Looking for it. Do you see any arrows yet? I don't see any arrows yet. Hmm. I'm going to let it run for a little bit. See if we can get some other items. Oh, there's arrows down there. Three stacks plus 50. I don't see anything else going into it yet. I'll just have to wait for a little bit, see what happens. It would help if I turned on the fans. <laughs> Once I did that, things started showing up, and they're still showing up. You can still see items popping up. But one of the things I want to do is, if you notice, I've got heads here. Skeleton, Enderman, Creepers, and Zombies. Uh, I want to put those heads in, like I said, a certain area. So I'm going to make those right over here. So if I grab one of these, as an example, and I put it here. Okay. These are where the heads will go. And there's one of each head. Okay? And then what I can do is I just lock it. Now those will be automatically go there. It won't put them anywhere else. So now I can just go in here and grab everything of these. And I'll just put them over there manually. This is reorganization. And as you can see, that spot filled up right away. Probably because this is all filled up. See, spider eyes taking more than... Uh, one of those. So I may make this another uh, another one of these larger squares. But anyway, let's put this back in here. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So we just go into this here and put them down. You grab it and it's just right click and there it goes into there. But it shows all the heads. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also going to do that with loot bags. Now I have common. And you can see I've already got more than uh, eight common loot bags. So we can grab, grab more of those, but uh, we're going to do common. We're going to do the same thing for the um, uncommon and up the line here and reorganize this a little bit so it looks a little better. The next thing I'm going to work on here is an upgrade system for the storage drawers we have by the, the, the uh, mob farm. What there are, if you do a search for upgrades here, there are these various upgrades for storage drawers. And this will increase the spot up by 2 and by 3 and by 5 and 8 and 13 times. Some of these are doing things with redstone, and, and there's this one for near infinite storage, which I don't know the recipe for, but the biggest one I can see is this one that makes it up to 13 times the storage capacity. Now, interestingly enough, it just takes sticks, emeralds, and an upgrade template. An upgrade template's pretty easy, just sticks in one of these uh, basic drawers. So if you look at um, what I have for emeralds, which is, this is crazy, um, I have right now a lot. Of emeralds and this is because I have the emerald cow making emerald blocks that I can break down into emeralds so I'm gonna make a bunch of these you can see I already have 20 of the upgrade templates on me but if I just grab that let's say I don't have any of those storage drawers so let's just do that I thought I had some let's grab a bunch of these let's just grab a bunch got 27 of those that's great let's put it all back together now we're gonna make the upgrade here go that one with the emerald put it in there and now we have 43 of them so I'm gonna put those in to the, the farm or into the uh, sorry the storage for the mob farm so if I go and click that's the wrong button which way is it is it shift no shift it's one of these buttons hold on shift and right click brings us up Anyway, you can see it's got a lot of storage, but I can then go in here and put one in each of the spots. 
And just like that, it's upgraded a bunch of times. So I'm going to do that for each of these storage drawers, and then we have a large capacity that we can do. If that makes any sense. Let me go do that, and then we're going to do something else. On these chests now, or these uh, storage drawers, I've added the upgrades. And you can see it's holding a lot. Like this is almost 2,000 of the uh, gunpowder. So I've added those up. We've got 43 common loot bags, 24 uncommon, 23 rare, 11 epic, at least 7 legendary. So we've got a lot of stuff coming in here. Um, oops, got a bad spot right there. Let's put the torch down for now. So, uh, yeah, it's looking really, really good. I really like how this is uh, working out. I really wanted to decorate this room this time, make it look a lot better, but I just don't have time. Uh, between the last clip and this clip, it's probably been about seven hours. Um, I had some uh, personal things that had to be taken care of that were unexpected. So uh, my recording time got cut, so this video is going to be cut short. And I do apologize for that, so I'll be working on the next video, and we'll start to get this uh, some more stuff going on. But this is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, so I do apologize to everybody. So, yeah, that's about it, I think, for today. Here I am, Tinker77 with the googly eyes. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.